First vid of 2021, hope y'all are doing well. Today I'm going over my natty guide. Whether you weight lift, power lift, body build like me, I'm giving you things to avoid, common misconceptions, and just tips that have helped me a lot. All right, first thing I wanna say, it's the classic bodybuilding trope. If you're natural, you can be big, you can be shredded, but you can't be both. And to me, it's all about finding the happy medium in between. But if you wanna be huge and shredded at the same time, you're not gonna be able to do it naturally, unfortunately. And that's okay. I'm not mad about that, but you have to realize it while you're going in. And that being said, this kind of leads into my second point. Don't bulk up to some crazy amount of body fat just trying to get huge, unless you really want to. But I'm just saying, if you get that big and you wanna shred again, you're gonna have to cut it off. And to me, bulking is always way easier than cutting the weight. I'd way rather run a nice, gradual, lean bulk and then be able to shred it off fairly easily then just get massive. Plus, if you put on that much body fat, you're gonna lose all your muscle anyways. I'm gonna sound like a Debbie Downer in this video, but I'm just speaking facts. So that's my advice. If you're bulking more than 20 pounds from your stage weight or whatever shredded weight you wanna reach, you're just making it harder on yourself. But this isn't to trash anyone. If you wanna get that big, freaking do it. I mean, it's fun as heck. You get to push crazy weights. You get to eat whatever you want, basically. And speaking of bulking, that kind of leads into training. I feel like there's a misconception that you can overtrain super easily. And I know everybody's different. All I'm saying is that you're more likely to undertrain than you are to overtrain. And as you keep progressing naturally, training intensity is one of your most valuable tools. And especially when you're cutting weight and trying to hold on to your muscle, the intensity is gonna have to go up if you wanna push the same weights. You have to take advantage of training intensity to get the most out of your workouts and make more progress. As naturals, we don't have as much to work with, so you have to utilize this. Train like a madman when you're bulking up, get stronger, build muscle, and then when you're ready to cut, don't make the mistake of rushing your cut. Because the faster you cut, the more likely you are to lose muscle and just shrink completely. I'm telling you. So instead of a standard 12 week cut, which most guys do, I would definitely recommend 16 to 20 weeks instead, just to get you to ease into it and hopefully be able to push the same weight, hold on to muscle. It's worked a lot better for me. Okay, last one I got is taking advantage of supplements and also what not to do. So everybody knows I freaking love creatine. You got all the standard stuff, multivitamins, fish oil, but beware because for naturals, there's always a scheme going on. There are always supplements out there. They literally, the pitch, you walk into a store, they say, this has all the benefits of steroids, but none of the downsides. Right? It's a good pitch, but it's bullshit. I'm, I'm just going to say it straight up. If it sounds too good to be true, it definitely is. Don't waste your money. I'm telling you. And for my competitors, be weary. You have to cross-reference the banned substance list for your federation with every single supplement you take. It's worth it in the end for the peace of mind because there's a lot of stuff on there. So be aware. If you like these kind of tips, let me know. Let me know if you have anything to add. Keep getting the gains. I'm out of here.